my first thought was, I'm so happy that this movie is being funded and getting made because these are the movies you want to get funded and get made that actually have a heart and have some passion and energy around them I in a unique, fresh way. And I said, thank God this movie's happening and I'm grateful that I have my eyes on it. Mother said we live in the desert. But out there lives the mirage. Tell me what's going on. Here is all sand, stone, body of flesh. No mirage, all very real. Scott, Kate, how are you guys doing? Good, good. good. Yeah. How, are, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Scott, long time no talk. It's been a couple of years, so it's good to finally catch up. Oh my God. Yes, yes, it is, Jim. Yeah, wow. I love it, man. Good to see you. I know. You there you yeah. go. Well, you guys got me freaked the hell out watching this. There's one movie that ever really, like, truly creeped me out to the core, and it was Midsommar, uh, Ari Aster's, and I think this one follows it very closely. I I don't even know what to say. This was a trip. I'm curious when you guys, um, when you guys read the script, I'm very curious what your initial reactions were. Were you like turning the pages? Like what the hell is going on here? I'm going to start out with you, Scott. What was the first impression that you remember having when you, when you got the script? My first thought was, I'm so happy that this movie is being funded and getting made because these are the movies you want to get funded and get made that actually have a heart and have some passion and energy around them in a unique, fresh way. And I said, thank God this movie's happening and I'm grateful that I have my eyes on it. Mm -hmm. What about you, Kate? Yeah, I uh, I loved the script. I definitely thought it was, you know, a page turner for lack of a, a better phrase. Um, I loved that the universe of it was very expansive in terms of the space um, where the story takes place and also um, the other cast involved, like the, the, the boys in the movie and everything. But uh, that so much of it was kind of um, this taut sort of... Uh, twisting power dynamic uh two-hander between scott's character and mine um i thought it was really well executed and i was uh excited to potentially get the chance to um be a part of it mm -hmm. scott i'll never think of hiking the same way again <laughs> it's like one rock turn and you really end up in a bad place here uh, tell me what was like on set this set is so oddly like claustrophobic but it's also open in a way it's like you just see the the skies basically the the wideness of the sky but it's so close out what where where'd you guys kind of film this because it was such a unique creepy and cool looking structure basically in place we can have utah they, it's an amazing little city in utah where they, john wayne shot so many of his movies mm. it's just a really special little they call it old Hollywood. I forgot what the name was. It actually has a Hollywood nickname of a town. It's called Kanab, Utah. And I don't know how they found this canyon, but it, it's one of a kind. It was all real, right? I mean, there's no CGI here we're working with. That stuff with those rocks. Were, were you actually climbing those rocks too? Because that that's another part of here that made me uncomfortable watching, you know, your character dangle on, on this rock trying to, on the rope and all. Yeah, it was it was intense. The whole thing was it was, it was freezing, it was the middle of winter, it was zero degrees out, but we had to make it look like summer. That the rope ladder was swinging in the wind, like half a mile up. It felt like it was it was it was in a very intense. It felt like an athletic event as much as a, as a film I was in. Yeah, I will say being a bystander, um, a spectator while Scott was shooting that stuff on the rocks, it was incredibly scary to watch. They obviously had a whole safety team in place and everything was you know, uh, by the books, but it, it, it was terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you prepare for this? Like, how, how do you prepare for something like this in a way? I mean, obviously you have the safety team probably, you know, along the way helping you out and kind of telling you, but like mentally even, and not only physically, how do you prep for something like that? Well, what's interesting is I, I, I didn't think that the guy was a rock climber. 
So I just felt like I didn't need to go learn rock climbing. Fair. She wanted to feel just kind of how I would feel. I mean, how anybody would feel, you know, if you're trapped in this canyon, you are going to try to climb out of it if you can. Mm -hmm. And you don't really prepare. That's what's so beautiful about this film is that I have Kate to work off of, who I think is one of the best actors alive. I have this really unique script and I have the set piece that is its own character. So it's like Kate, myself and this person that's always looming in the background of our conscious, if you will. Yeah. Kate, you know what I found very interesting about this character is that you would think she would be like a mute maybe or very like wild or, you know, like not around people really, but she was so normal, which freaked me out even more. There's no, you wouldn't be able to the conversations these two have that like there's something odd or weird that's isolating about her. Did you? Yeah, that was an interesting yeah. play on it too. How how did you take that in initially too? Well, I feel like it's something that Barney had baked into the script that she sort of um, did have uh, an out of this world quality or like a removed quality. It was drawing from incredibly outdated things and references, but then also, and I don't want to give too much away, but also she has these sort of. Uh, missives that like go out into the world and sort of bring her things that are um modern or or of the the current time so she's this weird um uncanny amalgamation of uh incredibly um you know uh, old but also current um so Bar barney had that in the script um so really, you know, it was just trying to do the script justice and then come to each scene and uh try and you know, spar with Scott. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, that's that's all Barney. He he crafted an incredible script. I'm going to yeah. stay with you here. Um, the few scenes that you did, you've done movie nudity before. Uh, I don't know if you're comfortable with <laughs> yes, that. It's something to be comfortable with. But mm -hmm. this scene here, when she washes herself with the cloth, it was so oddly mesmerizing. I don't think I've ever seen a scene like that. Like I could see how oh. the character is like mesmerized, but, but I, there's something about this scene that's very alluring and freaky at the same time. Tell me about how you and Barney uh, approach this scene because we see it a few times here and it kind of, you know, gets the character we're, we're talking about here, um, window mesmerized, but also the way to do it. It's very stylistic, the way it's shot from kind of behind and, and Tell me about that, um, because I was really fascinated about how that came off. Yeah, uh, I mean, again, I think um, all credit for subtlety or um, uh, classiness or what have you is, uh, you know, it's a conversation with Barney, but that it, that's how it was scripted, sort of. It's um, mm -hmm. It really is pretty true to the page, and so... Um, Barney wanted it to be this sort of slow, meditative, uh, odd, uncanny seduction. Um, and then additional credit due to Rob Lysel, who shot um, the movie in Utah. Um, yeah, he, uh, you know, made sure to light it and, and uh, find an angle that was... Um, you know, left some things to the imagination um, and was this sort of hopefully mesmerizing um, uh, invitation into her world. Um, yeah. Very, very, like I said, haven't seen a scene like that. It was very unique in so many different ways. You know, as a viewer, you can always see it from the character's perspective, you know? Uh, so that's why I found it to be super interesting. Um, yeah. Well, Scott good. <laughs> it worked. Uh, yeah. Scott, you just mentioned, uh, you know, Kate being one of the best people you've ever worked with. Uh, I want to know, and, and I want to get Kate's also view on it. What, was, what stood out to you about working with her as a person? We know she's a phenomenal actress, but what do you kind of take away? You learned about her spending so much time on screen, obviously, together. I, I imagine you guys off screen connected too. tell me what stands out about her to, to you. Gosh, like you could get me emotional just thinking about how grateful I am for Kate. Like I, I tell you, she was, I would show up on set and it was really hard. And there were certain scenes that I had to just be really in a certain space for that an actress, not even, I mean, it's just, it was really an intense space for me to be in. And the way she treated my process was 
so considerate, so understanding. She was supportive of moments when it was really hard physically. And we were trying, there's one scene in particular that we both were kind of not wanting to do. And we both were frustrated because it was a very hard scene to pull off. And I just don't think the scene, the scene made the film and it's phenomenal. It's because of Kay. And it's just, it's, you know, when you're an actor, you want to have somebody you can connect with. And when the camera stops, you want to understand that they are on your team. You know, we're all all in one mission together, even if, you know, we are opposite in a scene of an objective of what the scene's actually about. My teammate on my team while we're playing is Kate. And I know that I can throw her the ball at any moment. And off camera, she's so intelligent, so caring, so giving nice to everybody like Kate is the consummate professional and it felt like a play and I got to do it I mean it with one of the greatest actors alive in my opinion that's yeah. awesome it's incredibly nice and I feel uh the same way about Scott um his dedication to excellence is um really inspiring to to me um to, at each and every scene he made sure that it was the best possible version of it that it could be. And even if that sometimes, even if we took our time a little bit when maybe we were like butting up against um, a lack of time, it was always worth it. And um, something that I'll carry forward with me, just the dedication to to excellence. Um, and then, yeah, he's, he's, my, he's my teammate forever. Mm-hmm. It's such a... Um, it really is, uh, it's not always like that. And it, it was a gift for sure. That's awesome. You guys uh, owned it on screen. Really uh, intimate portrayal on so many fronts. And, you know, for most scenes sharing together for a length of a movie like this, you guys really pulled it off. So fantastic work. Uh, you had me on edge throughout and just great performances and uh, super interesting script too. So awesome work. Hopefully you guys work together uh, again, okay. for sure. I have Hope zero so. doubts. I plan yeah. to go into directing and I, she's one of the first actresses I would definitely call. So. Perfect. Well, Scott, great. before I go quickly, how's everything with the Sherry Theater? Oh my gosh, thanks for asking. We're, we're actually just trying to help out some new playwrights right now. We're, we're doing a fundraiser, trying to keep the theater alive. Um, I think with what's going on with AI and technology that the theater is more important now than ever today. Mm-hmm. Um, and thanks for asking. You know, the, the, the place is still changing lives and I'm, I'm so grateful that it's still there after such a long time, you know, so thanks for asking about it because a lot oh, yeah. of people, a lot of people go there every day to try to get, you know. No question. Go. No, I know you're passionate about it. And it's, it's, it's someplace I'm familiar with too, driving by and seeing it. So that's cool that you're still on it. Um, keep on doing a good work. Thanks guys so much for taking the time and uh, hope to talk to you again. Thank you, Jim. Hey, take care. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for talking to us. Bye. Bye. Mm.